Welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about constraint based association mining in the subject of data mining. Basically, what do you mean by constraint normal? In normal English, constraint is nothing but condition, right? So, here also, you will be defining or you will be generating the association rules. In association mining, what you will do? You will be doing the mining with the help of association rules, right? So, these association rules are generated based on a particular condition. That condition can be anything. It can be a knowledge or it can be data or it can be a dimension or it can be an interestingness or anything it can be. But based on some condition, you will be defining the association rules. By using those association rules, you will be doing mining that is called as constraint means association mining. Okay, so we have five types of data actually, sorry, five types of constraints actually. So I will explain about all those constraints in this video. First one is the knowledge type. Knowledge type is nothing but this will specify, this constraint will specify the type of knowledge you want to on the type of knowledge on which okay uh, that you on which you want to do the mining that is we have different different types of knowledges like we have association we have correlation we have regression and we have clustering classification there are so many types of knowledge right among those types which type you want to select that is about the knowledge type got it next comes the data constraints in data constraints it will specify the type of data on which you want to generate the rules that is on which type of data you want to uh, generate the rules that will be given by this data constraint simply you can select only task relevant data you have to use only task relevant data right that is you can say like whatever data is needed to the user only that has to be used it will specify what is that data what is the task relevant data will be given this dimension okay. or level constraints so basically dimension or level the word itself says you right it will specify the dimension or the level on which you want to generate the association rules at which level or at which dimension see uh, generally you will be denoting each attribute in each direction right as a um, sorry you will be denoting an attribute as a dimension so in which dimension that is in which attribute you want to generate the rules in which level you want to generate that is you'll have hierarchies right at what level of hierarchy at what level of abstraction you want to generate the rules that will be um, given by this dimension or level constraints got it and here we use the concept of concept hierarchy concept hierarchy is nothing but at which level of hierarchy and which attribute you have to use that is what concept hierarchy is okay next interestingness constraints the fourth one is interestingness constraints is nothing but it will specify how much interesting that data is the particular data which you have picked up how much interesting is it got it and how will you determine the interestingness by the support and confidence by the support percentages and confidence percentages you will be getting the interestingness of the pattern or interestingness of the data got it this is about the interestingness constraints nothing to uh, think more about here knowledge is nothing but specifies the type of knowledge on which you want to generate the association rules next is data constraints data constraints is nothing but specifies the type of data on which you want to generate the rules dimension or level is nothing but it will specify at what dimension or at what level you want to generate the rules interestingness is nothing but it will um, give you it will specify on how much interest Think pattern you can generate a rule like that okay and how do you determine the support uh, sorry interestingness with the help of support and confidence measures okay and the last one is the rule constraint so the fifth one is the rule constraints it will specify the form of rules on which you have to do the mining that is on the form on which kind of rules you have to you can generate the patterns you can generate the association rules that is what given by this rule constraints got it so actually when you are uh, mining the rule uh, constraints or when you are mining the rules you can do it in two ways okay meta rule guided mining and constraint pushing so what do you mean by meta rules guided mining is nothing but you know what is a meta rule meta rule is nothing but what rules about 
rules is called as meta rules okay so here basically in meta rule guided mining what will happen is the it will allow the users to specify the syntactic form of rules in form of the constraints so here the rule is acting as a constraint the the form of constraint is rule that is uh, any syntactic uh, rules you want to specify the syntactic form of the rule uh, that is the syntax of the rule is expressed in form of a constraint got it that is about the meta rules next is constraint pushing in constraint pushing what you will do use what you will do is you will be using this rule constraints so basically in constraint pushing it will specify the relationships of the variables which are in the rules suppose you have generated a rule right like if cost increases sales decreases here cost is one variable and sales is one variable these two these are the two different variables the relationship between these two variables can be defined by using this constraint pushing got it and that is uh, what kind of variables can be used together what kind of variables should not be used together like that so all that will be mentioned in this constraint pushing and you can use these two together in the while you are mining the rules or you can use any of them got it this is about this video constraints constraint based constraint based association mining okay so in this all you need to remember is what is constraint and five constraints we have knowledge data dimension interestingness and the last one is rule so about five things what you understood you can write that got it so that's all for this video I hope you understood. Let's meet up in the next coming video. In the next video, I'll be explaining about the graph pattern mining. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you're still having any doubts, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure if I can.